What's up, everyone? So we thought we'd uh, record a short video to tell you about something new that we're adding to the Big Fat Challenge in January 2024. And this really comes out of kind of an itch or an urge that, that I've had for a while. Um, Phil, I, I know that you remember I, I, I've told you once or twice that I've, I kind of envy how sick you got. You know, because you, you, you wrote the book, Arthritis, The Best Thing That Ever Happened to Me, which forced you to go really strict on your on your diet, strip everything else out and and get that remission and and uh, and, and healing. Um, and then also I'm doing some work with the, Dr. Anthony Chafee, whose who's story from what happened to him 20 years ago is really fascinating as well. Now, he didn't get sick like like you got, but... Um, he gave up all the plants and he was saying that he was doing these incredible workouts and his recovery was um, so rapid and, and he, he couldn't tire himself out. And he was playing rugby with guys like 15 years younger and, you know, just outperforming everyone and, and saying that when you cut out all those plants, especially the last 5%, we talk about this a lot, um, the, the difference is, you know, between normal you, good you and superhuman you. Right now, for me, completely just my personal selfish objective here is I, I want to know what that's like, right? Because my gut wasn't wrecked and I've never had to um, be that strict. So I've always been tempted by the bit of chocolate here and the bit of bread there and the, you know, bit of beer here and whatever like that. And, and it's kind of come around to the new year and I've thought, sod it, let's do it, right? So there's a few of us who are in the Big Fat Challenge community now who are going to do what we have just decided to call the Big Fat Challenge XL, which means we're going to do 90 days starting January the 1st, strict carnivore, meat, salt, water, right? Cut out the addictions, cut out no alcohol, no coffee, tea, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, have eggs or whatever fish if you if you want it um, but we're going to find out we're going to do it together right now I've been coaching people in this in the kind of making this transition for over a year now and um, and still for me it's only been a week at a time when I've actually followed a, a strict lion diet carnivore diet right so I I want to find out I want to find out how good it feels to do that and, and um you know what kind of shape could i get in in 90 days and, and stuff like that so um so that's what we're going to do so we thought yeah we kind of put this out to um everyone who who, who follows like 100 carnivore phil's youtube channel and, and so on um to say maybe you are one of these people that you've you've dabbled a bit you know you've you've dipped your toe into carnivore you've seen some of the results and you but you know there's there's something more to be gained, but it just takes that bit more self-control, discipline, support that you don't actually have in your life. So let's do it together. That's 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 my idea. Yeah, well, you you know, I th I often say that go back to that expression, which was um, actually made up for bipolar people. I think that um, they're like everybody else, only more so. And I think this is the same with people who say, like me, who've got autoimmunity in their past. And <coughs> excuse me. So I think um, this the strict business is a lot easier for those of us who've had some awful condition because there's more motivation. And I've been doing it for so long now; it's not a big deal. I mean, I'll still do things like every now and again. I, I like it's it's the day after Boxing Day when we had our Christmas Day lunch, and I, I had a few potatoes, but I won't do that for a long time now. It doesn't really hurt me if I do it once. Um, but apart from that, it's really beef and lamb 95% of the time. But in, in periods when I'm healing up, it's it totally different eating just beef and lamb to beef and lamb and a little bit of pork and chicken, even that. And I think it probably affects everybody, to be honest, but they just don't notice so much. I wonder if in our past, when it came to the autumn, we had nuts and berries and we started mucking around with that. I don't suppose any of them got crippling arthritis, but 
did they not feel quite as optimal as they did when the, that stuff wasn't available? Possibly. It might have only been two to five percent or something like that. And then only for a day or two. I don't know. But I do see people having just such a huge difference, particularly when they're healing. When I do consultations, people say, you know, I'll get an email or something. Oh, I've been on carnivore for six months and I noticed some um, improvements to start with, but now they've leveled out or I'm having the odd flare or something like that. It's always that they're having dairy, eggs, pork or chicken. Like there can be other factors, you know, that we go into as well. All the all the other things, the light, the EMFs, the emotional stuff, all of this sort of thing. But on a diet level, they're always making some mistake with that. A lot of them thought, oh, I never thought about that. You know, and the reasons why pork and chicken are not so great, the reasons why eggs can not be so great, dairy definitely. So, you know, I mean, earlier on in the challenge, we saw um, women who hit weight loss stalls. And then as soon as they got rid of, rid of the dairy, the weight loss started again. Well, let's call it fat loss, you know, proper proper weight loss. Um, and I wonder how good people really could feel if they went to what is basically the least challenging food with the most nutrition, which is really good beef and lamb, keep the fat levels up and, you know, fat levels higher if you've already got autoimmunity to heal the gut. It's not rocket science, but to really be confident of why that is totally safe because a lot of people go, well, you can't just eat that. And we're not strict on, on, on most of the challenge. You know, we go with what people's level is and, you know, where they're coming from, what their history is. But this time, you know, with the XL thing, we want to just stress that and just see, see what happens to people, people who've maybe already been carnivore and feel great or they think they do. Can you feel better? Mm, you know, can sure. you not have something happen in 10 years? I, I, I don't know, but it is the least challenging food, no toxins, and the most nutrients. So give it a go. And the longer you do it, the less boring it becomes, right? You know, because at the start, oh, well, I'll never do that. So restrictive. Well, just try it. You know, even a vegan diet's not going to kill you in 90 days. Give it a go. But that's the key, isn't it? Because you had a really, really strong why. Like like you, you said, say a lot, nothing tastes as good as remission feels, mm. right? So, you know somebody offers you a sandwich it's like hell no that i don't care how good it tastes it's not going to be worth it right um but you know i i i've been like swanning around on on the challenge on our calls and stuff saying to people um, my gut's not wrecked i can i can have the odd you know fried eggs on toast or you know crate of beer and i get away with it look, look at me i've got a note from my mum but the reality is i don't know i don't still don't know what i'm missing out on from that and also don't know maybe i could live another 20 years if mm -hmm. well I mean, I mean i hope to live another 20 years but i mean on, on top of <laughs> on top of you know what i what i would live otherwise actually enjoy another level of quality of life and the bottom line guys is that there's only one way to find out so if you're like me and you've been flirting around carnivore and and the healing and the energy levels that, that are possible um make 2024 the time right let's do it let's do it together from january the first and we'll support each other to do it um because i know that if it was just down to me the the motivation isn't there i need to find that motivation i need to generate that um that impetus to do it and uh i i bet that there's a few others in a, in a similar situation out there who could benefit from the same yeah well i'm i'm okay on the food front but um i'm gonna see what it's like giving up having the old brandy so you know who knows if that's keeping my gut leaky enough so that i only feel good on beef and lamb could be could be yeah. but uh, it doesn't seem to have any initial um sort of agonizing consequences but you know i know it's a toxin just as much as anybody else but uh my food's usually on point so let's see what we can do 100 percent, and uh, get the get the liquids down to just water as well yeah so join us for the big fat challenge xl version from from now um and we've got obviously you've got a whole members area we're gonna we're gonna record some new 
uh, videos specifically for people doing the Excel as well. Uh, we've got a Facebook group. We've got a WhatsApp group goes on that people are chatting on that all day, every day. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. That is the place to get the support if you need it. And only you know if you need it. Um, I know I do. So that's why I wanted to do it. And that's why we wanted to open up to you guys as well. And of course, as always, with the Big Fat Challenge, we don't want anybody to be excluded from this. So we do offer it on a pay what you can afford basis. And if you drop an email to info at the big fat then um, if you can't afford the, the, the full price of the challenge, which is very, very reasonable and less than the cost of a normal gym membership, which you don't need anyway, um, then we will we, we don't want to turn anyone away. So. Uh, yeah, join us on from January the 1st, if not the 4th, and let's do it together. Cool. So everybody out there who thinks that they're doing great on uh, bacon and eggs, let's see how much better you could feel on beef and lamb. <laughs>